In numerical analysis, the speed at which a convergent sequence approaches its limit is called the rate of convergence. Although strictly speaking, a limit does not give information about any finite first part of the sequence, this concept is of practical importance if we deal with a sequence of successive approximations for an iterative method, as then typically fewer iterations are needed to yield a useful approximation if the rate of convergence is higher. This may even make the difference between needing 10 or a million iterations insignificant. Similar concepts are used for discretization methods. The solution of the discretized problem converges to the solution of the continuous problem as the grid size goes to zero, and the speed of convergence is one of the factors of the efficiency of the method. However, the terminology in this case is different from the terminology for iterative methods. Series acceleration is a collection of techniques for improving the rate of convergence of a series discretization. Such acceleration is commonly accomplished with sequence transformations. Convergence speed for iterative methods equals basic definition equals suppose that the sequence xk converges to the number l. We say that this sequence converges linearly to l if there exists a number i one quarter as such that the number i one quarter is called the rate of convergence. If the sequence converges and varies from step to step with full, then the sequence is said to converge superlinearly varies from step to step with full, then the sequence is said to converge sublinearly. If the sequence converges sublinearly and additionally, then it is said the sequence xk converges logarithmically to L. Your next definition is used to distinguish superlinear rates of convergence. We say that the sequence converges with order q to L for q greater than 1 if, in particular, convergence with order q equals 2 is called quadratic convergence, Q equals 3 is called cubic convergence, etc. This is sometimes called Q linear convergence, Q quadratic convergence, etc., to distinguish it from the definition below. The Q stands for quotient, because the definition uses the quotient between two successive terms. Equals extended definition equals, the drawback of the above definitions is that these do not catch some sequences which still converge reasonably fast but whose speed is variable, such as the sequence bk below. Therefore, the definition of rate of convergence is sometimes extended as follows. Under the new definition, the sequence xk converges with at least order q if there exists a sequence i micron k such that. And the sequence i micron k converges to zero with order q according to the above simple definition. To distinguish it from that definition, this is sometimes called a linear convergence, a quadratic convergence, etc. Equals examples equals, consider the following sequences. The sequence arc converges linearly to zero with rate one half. More generally, the sequence psi one quarter k converges linearly with rate i one quarter if i one quarter.